hey lovelies welcome back to my channel so today's video is just me playing with some polishes doing some easy nail art I do keep my mistakes in so you could kind of get an idea of how to fix something um, if you're working and you make a mistake it's not a really big deal just quickly fix it so I do leave my mistakes in the video so um, I am using some of the polishes I got from Madame Glam in my last video, I did do swatches for you and discuss their VIP subscription, so I'll leave that link above. And um, this first design, what I'm using is Madame Glam's in Jungle Beat. I'm using Model 1's Glitter Gel Pot in Oscar Skirt. And the gray that I'm using is from Model 1's as well. Okay, so that gray color is 1606. So the tips that I'm using are some tips that I did buy some full coverage stiletto tips that I didn't like um, to use on myself. And then um, I tried to use them with my flexi hand and I really didn't like them. So I just used them to practice my nail art designs, which works well um, because I already bought them and they were inexpensive. And so they do work well for that um, and I'm just using this nail stand I think I got it off Amazon and some tack that I got I think I got that off Amazon as well anyway so I did base coat all of these um, the tips just because the gel polish will not stick to the plastic that well I didn't buff them or anything like that but these designs that I'm doing um, you can do over your natural nail or you can do them over enhancements. You just wanna make sure that you prep accordingly for whatever you're doing. Um, if you're gonna do them over enhancements, make sure you prep for that. And if you're doing them over your natural nail, make sure that you prep for that as well. Anyway, so you're just gonna see me going through, um, just trying to figure out a design, just playing with um, the polishes. Um, I will pop back in um, just to discuss some tips, um, but for the most part, you can just watch. But I will pop back in in a few seconds to um, discuss one of the mistakes that I made and then just how to fix it. Okay, so in this nail, I wanted to do an ombre. That's why you see me only putting um, the glitter polish only halfway down the nail. So I wanted to see if I can do a glitter ombre. I do cure this first um, because I'm using two totally different types of polish to do the ombre. So I cured it first and then I'm gonna go in with my gel polish. And you could see at first I kind of didn't have enough polish on the brush or whatever, not a big deal. Just apply it, add a little bit more and apply it. Essentially I want it to make it look like the glitter was like underneath the polish and it was like kind of coming out of the polish. I don't know if I explained that well. So I just have the liner brush and I'm just going back and forth to kind of like thin out the polish um, where it meets the glitter. And um, I am gonna add a second layer of polish, but what I did do on this, I did take the polish a little bit too far down. In the end, I do like how it turned out. I just took the polish a little bit too far down, but I'm pulling it, um, in order to thin it out, I'm kind of pulling it out vertically, then I go horizontal and um, blend it. Just because of just blending it horizontal, I wasn't thinning it out as much as I wanted to. So I put that in the lamp and cured it. On this nail, I'm just going to do two coats of the Jungle Bee. Um, I'm keeping this nail plain. The other nail that I did exclusively in Jungle Bee, I think I'm going to do a matte. I did a matte on that one. So I went in with two coats of every, uh, two coats of all the polishes on um, this set.
Okay, so this didn't really turn out the way that I want it to, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the um, Model One's Oscar Skirt Glitter Pot Polish, Glitter Pot Polish, yeah. So I'm just gonna take that all the way up to where the polish meets the glitter polish, and then um, use whatever's in my brush to create the ombre effect. So it, this didn't turn out the way that I want it, like I said before, but you know, it still turned out cute. I still like it. And also the reason I'm kind of not talking as loudly in this video is because it's pretty early in the morning and people are still asleep in the house. So I don't want to be hella loud recording this video. So that's why um, my voice is a little bit more muted in this video. So on this um, nail, I just wanted to have all glitter polish but I wanted it to be opaque I didn't want any of the clear nail peeking through so I just wanted it to be solid glitter um, all the way through and each of these layers I did cure for 60 seconds um, and everything cured fine for the most part but we'll see that sh we'll see that with the matte top coat in a minute so on this nail, um, I turned the lamp on, I put it in the lamp, and I hit it on something. So um, I had to pull it out of the lamp, and it's funny because, see, I hit it on something, so there's a little nick there. And I tried to paint over it, but because the polish was in the lamp only for like maybe two seconds, it had already, the top layer had already started to cure. So what I did was just took, um, a lint-free wipe and had a little bit of alcohol in it and I wiped off that first layer of polish and I was a little nervous that if I put more polish it wouldn't cure because of the alcohol so um that's why I only used a little bit but I was able to apply that second coat of polish and um, cure fine so no wrinkling or anything like that um, after the first nick so I mean it's not really a big deal if you hit the nail on something um, especially if you're doing your nails for yourself like you have the time like just go ahead and just take it off and start over sometimes trying to fix something just makes it look worse um, as you're gonna see um, when I pull this matte coat matte top coated nail out of the lamp in a couple moments Okay, so that um, nail wrinkled um, with the matte top coat that wrinkled. So if this was on my nails, I would have just filed off the polish and or filed off the polish or soaked it off. Um, but because this was a nail tip, I just threw it away and started over. So if you do get the wrinkling, I know some people um, do add another layer of polish on top of that wrinkling and smooth it out. But if you don't want that nail to be thick and bulky, then just um, take the polish off and start over. Um, what I did different on this one is I just applied a thinner coat of that matte top polish. So um, I don't use my matte too often. I always say that I want to use it more. So I went in pretty thick on it um, because that's how I do my top coat, my glossy top coat. So... Um, 
for the model ones matte top coat you would probably just use a thinner layer of the matte so this um, next design I'm not doing a full set I'm just doing one nail and what I want to do is um, do like kind of like color block and with the cat eye polish so the the Madam Glam color that I'm using is Haunt Me and the yes it's called Haunt Me the model one's black that I'm using is 1348 and that is a model one's 90 cat polish it's the pink one they only have two in this bottle I didn't write the number down and I'm not getting up and going in my nail room to get it because I do not want to wake people up while I'm like digging through my drawer looking for nail polish but um so that's the 9D cat eye polish and I'll leave the link above of me swatching that set I'm sorry I'll leave the um, link above in the cards of me unboxing and swatching that 90 cat eye kit from model ones anyway so i just put a little black polish on my palette and i have a striper brush and i'm gonna be very honest with you guys i do not know what the hell i'm doing <laughs> i don't really do a lot of line work so i just wanted to play with it and see if i could actually do it but i was trying to go for like a swoosh and uh, yeah I didn't like it I don't know what was going on I really couldn't in my mind it looked a certain way and then when I put it on the nail um, <laughs> it looks completely different so needless to say um, I'm not very good at this line work but you know it's it's fine I'm just practicing I'm not really um, a professional so I mostly just do I mostly mainly just do my nails myself I've been doing my nails for a while so lately I've been wanting to experiment with more designs um, more designs where I'm using multiple colors um, and definitely trying to learn how to do more nail art so this was just me showing you guys um, what I had in my mind and just trying to execute it. So this isn't really like, oh, this is the exact way to do it. Um, this is just me playing around with my polishes and then just sharing it with you guys. Um, I know, and I say this a lot in my videos, like I'm not here to show you or to be perfect or whatever like I keep my mistakes in my videos as this is something that I'm learning one of the things I like is when people in the comments respect respectfully give you kind of an idea of how to do something and um, you know that's what it's all about that's what the community I'm trying to build is all about just a sharing and growing together so um, next to this pink this um, cat eye polish turns out more purple than um, my swatch of it which was actually more pink so I just wiped that off with a little bit of alcohol and I'm just going to go in with the Madam Glam Jungle Beat and just try and replicate that swoosh that I did with the black but um, keep the black line in the middle so you guys could watch me do that.
so here I'm just using my liner brush to kind of fill in the empty spaces and what I'm gonna do um, is go in with a flat gel brush and a little bit of alcohol to kind of clean up that line um, as best as I can but again um, this is just me playing with the polish kind of like seeing where I'm at seeing what I can do but I think this design is really really cute um, it kind of gives me 90 vibes I don't know why a lot of my designs give me 90 vibes probably because I'm a little old but um, <laughs> um, definitely after I did this I did feel confident like oh, okay with just a little practice you know you can get that um, line work down pat with um, just a little bit of practice and again I bought these tips and I didn't like them to use um, for my flexi hand or to use for um, enhancements on myself but I love using these tips and these nail stands just to practice um, your nail art design and also you don't always want to pull out your your flexi hand or your practice hand and build a whole entire nail just to play with your um nail art or just try and create a design that you have in your head so these little nail um, stand tips and tag are perfect and if you go on amazon or aliexpress there's multiple options um for these nans nail stands but i would highly suggest um doing you know investing in a few of those okay so this is the last nail that i'm gonna play with and i just really wanted to see how the madam glams um what color is this candy cane looked over um looked as a topper so i just did the madam the model ones black gel polish and then um I did one coat of that and then I did one coat of the candy cane and these are side by side the um, of the candy cane with nothing behind it and then the candy cane over black which I really eh. um, I was wondering if it would look good with that gray and eh. but anyways so yeah um, definitely thanks for watching me just play with some of my polishes and try and get some nail designs down um definitely let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and again i really am enjoying this madam glam polish also what i have on my nails is um Brano's poly gel in nude so i will link that kit above as well um definitely thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to like comment share and subscribe